Hey everybody, it's Gio from Microsoft at Florida International University and today is December 27th, 2013. It is 5.13 a.m. and in this video, I'm going to show you methods. So, I've set up the project so far in such a manner that you have the books from the variables tutorial and we have this text object. Uh, which is called timer text, but we'll just change it to title text because that's what I have in mind right now And I'll describe that in a second so you're not too confused, right? So now we have title text perfect and I've centered it which can be done by going down here So I horizontally aligned it and I vertically aligned it and that means the text is going to appear in the center of this block of text and I zeroed this out so there's no events right now there's nothing and we're just gonna get into it and we're gonna talk about it right so generally in programming a method is something that a lot it's a procedure that allows you to simplify a series of steps so what I mean by this is usually when you're programming uh, you would traditionally have to write out all of the stuff you would have to do Right? And then you'd execute that logic. And I don't know how many lines of code it would take, but it would be a manual operation. A method allows you to automate that. So instead of having to retype that code every single time, all you do is call that method and it does it for you. It does that procedure. So methods allow you to reuse code, one. And two, they allow you to save time by reducing... Um, the need to start from scratch so they're very good for that and I'm going to add a touch object to my project so the touch object is down here in input right and generally in construct you need input if you're gonna test for anything like straight up uh, so I'm gonna insert my touch and it's gonna take three seconds uh, so the touch object is very handy in construct because not only does it register touch input, but it also registers mouse input. And you can change that by changing this property, which I would not recommend because not all computers have touch capabilities, right? Uh, but every computer should have clicking capabilities. So that is perfect. And we can now use this touch object in any case because it registers touches and clicks. Um, so I'm going to proceed to show you the methods of the touch object as well as other classes. So we have our book object, our title text object, and our touch object, right? So when you click the next um, button, when you're adding an event, which can be done by clicking add event, when you go to the next, these are methods. And in construct, methods are grouped. So you're able to see what category these methods fall under. And that's very efficient because it allows you to specify your search and know exactly where and what you're looking for. So as you will notice also, methods are specific to an object type, just like variables, well, instance variables. So this book object, which is a sprite, is gonna have different methods than this te title text object which is a text object, if I'm not mistaken, or a font object, one of the two. Um, and that is going to have different methods than this touch object. So you notice the touch object has an orientation and motion group and a touch group, uh, whereas these two have much different methods. So what I'm going to proceed to do is I'm going to use a method and show you, you know, kind of how it works. So with this touch object, I'm going to use the onTouched object method. So that method checks if I am touching or clicking an object. And I'm going to check if I'm clicking a book. So once I've done that, this says, once I've clicked a book, do this, right? So now I'm going to add an action, which is the actual logic behind the method that does that check, right? That method says like, so generally a method is the process of an event and an action so it gets this condition and then it does that I mean it's it's kind of actually like 
a method's kind of like a procedure. There's a lot of ways to write methods, but more specifically, the system and construct is kind of broken down and compound, com combined at the same time because you have events and you have actions, and that's how the method system is implemented in construct. It's just events and actions, right? So we say we're checking what happens here, right, which is the event. We check when a book is touched, and then our action is going to be we're going to set our text to the title of the book that was clicked. So the way we do that is to go to our book object, right? And I, I just hit tab to skip it in case you're wondering. And then we use the dot notation. And the dot will take you into anything inside of that book. So what is inside of a book? Well, didn't we declare a method named title? Yeah. So we can find the title of a book. So if this was referring to no book, it would be blank. Because by default, the, the title is blank, right? Oh, sorry, I clicked the animation frames. Um, okay, so the initial value varies, right? But by default, we don't know what it's going to be. However, since we said on touched a book, this says when we click a book. Construct links that to this, and it says, oh, we're going to set the text of a book to its title all right let's just do that with the book we touched so construct sees the correlation between this book and that book and it says okay i'm going to set the title of the book that you just clicked to the text and i hope i hope you guys understand what i'm talking about so i'm going to run it now and show you exactly what i'm talking about boom so when i click a book it does that and that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial stay forward to uh, stay looking forward to more videos have a nice day bye